And President Trump has been pushing this hydroxychloroquine solution. It is, it is not clear at this point. There are, no, there are no tested trials as far as hydroxychloroquine in any mass numbers to see whether this thing is incredibly effective across the board. Trump did pump hydroxychloroquine again yesterday uh, at his press conference. He's been pushing this thing pretty hard. Uh, there have been a lot of stories of people who say they feel better after using hydroxychloroquine in coordination with azith- azithromycin as well as zinc. Uh, so we will see if, if that plays out. It is amazing the lengths to which the media will go in order to try and portray Trump mentioning this thing as a grave, grave evil. I'm not sure I've ever seen Trump derangement syndrome as strong as I saw it in the media yesterday. This is an unbelievable story. Okay, so Heidi Prisbilla over at NBC News tweeted out this tweet yesterday. Oh my God, don't take anything. Don't believe anything. Don't believe anything the president says and his people because they don't know what they're talking about. And don't take anything. Be so careful and call your doctor. This is a heartache I'll never get over. What exactly is she talking about here? She's talking about a story in which a woman suggested that she and her husband had taken hydroxychloroquine in order to fend off coronavirus, even though they'd not been diagnosed with it. And then her husband died and she ended up in the ICU. And Heidi Prisbilla tweeted, her husband is dead and she's in the ICU after ingesting chloroquine. We saw Trump on TV, every channel, all of his buddies. And this was safe, she said. Trump kept basically saying it was pretty much a cure. She implored Vaughn Hilliard of NBC News, educate the people. According to Heidi Prisbilla, the couple did not have coronavirus symptoms, but took the chloroquine phosphate as a preventative measure. They feared contracting coronavirus. The couple each mixed one tablespoon of chloroquine phosphate with soda. Within 20 minutes, they began experiencing severe sickness and called 911. I was in the pantry stacking dog food, and I saw it sitting in the back shelf, and I thought, hey, isn't that the stuff they were talking about on TV? And it was. Hilliard interviewed her from the hospital bed over the phone. This is the most horrible day of my life, and it feels like my heart is broken. It'll never mend. It's just broke, dead, like my husband. I'm 61. My husband is 68. We're healthy. No, no underlying, no diabetes or lung issues. Nothing. Okay, Von Hilliard has this, ha- has this audio with this, with this crazy lady talking about how it was Trump's fault, talking about the, the woman in the ICU. Trump kept saying it was pretty much basically a cure. Do we have that audio of this woman talking to Von Hilliard at NBC? This is supposedly national news here about Trump killing somebody because he told them to take hydroxychloroquine. You know, they kept saying that it was approved for other things. And, you know, Trump kept saying it was, you know, basically pretty much a cure. What would be your message to the American public? Oh, my God, don't take anything. I... Don't believe anything, don't believe anything the president says and his people, because they don't know what they're talking about. I was in the pantry stacking dog food and I just saw it sitting in the back shelf and said, hey, isn't that that stuff they're talking about on TV? And yeah, it was. Okay, so according to the media, it sounds like President Trump has been pushing chloroquine phosphate and that... Some lady took his advice, gave it to herself and her husband, and then he died and she's in the ICU. Wait until you hear the punchline of the story, which demonstrates that the media are full-scale insane. Insane. I mean, this is really, this is the most insane case of Trump derangement syndrome I have ever heard of. And there's a lot of Trump derangement syndrome out there, but the mainstream media have picked up on this story. The punchline here is unreal. So what is the punchline to this story where Trump supposedly killed some dude and, and then put his wife in the ICU after recommending inappropriate substances. Um, It turns out they didn't actually have hydroxychloroquine phosphate in like, you know, the medicinal form. They had fish tank cleaner in the back of their closet and fish tank cleaner has in it chloroquine phosphate. And these morons went in the back. I'm advisedly, I am saying this. If you take fish tank cleaner and put it in your body because you heard on the TVs that chloroquine phosphate is good for you, and it literally says on the package, not for human consumption, and you then down it with some soda, that's, a, that's on you, okay? That's not on Trump. That's on you because you're stupid, okay? And I feel bad for you that you're stupid, but you're stupid. Like, there's no two ways about that. I'm sorry. Here's the actual story. So if I just told you what NBC told you, you would think that Trump said, take this pill. A person took the pill and the person died, right? That would be the story. But that is not the story. Here's the story. From Fox 29 in Arizona, medical experts with Banner Health are warning the public against using inappropriate medication and household products to prevent or treat coronavirus. The warning by Banner Health comes after an Arizona man in his 60s died from taking a substance used to clean fish tanks at aquariums in order to prevent contracting COVID-19. In a statement released on Monday, experts emphasize that chloroquine, which is a medication used for malaria, should not be taken to treat or prevent COVID-19. Banner Health officials say the man who died, along with his wife, 
Both took chloroquine phosphate. The man's wife, also in her 60s, is currently under critical care. Officials say both were taken to a Banner Health Hospital for immediate treatment after they experienced immediate effects within 30 minutes of taking the substance. Most patients who become infected with COVID-19 will only require symptomatic care and self-isolation to prevent the risk of infecting others, read a portion of the statement. The routine use of specific treatments, including medications described as anti-COVID-19, is not recommended for non-hospitalized patients. The FDA has reiterated in a statement there are no FDA-approved therapeutics or drugs to treat, cure, or prevent COVID-19. Chloroquine has been used to treat malaria since the 1930s. Hydroxychloroquine came along a, dec a decade later and has fewer side effects. The latter is sold in generic form under the brand name Plaquenil for use against several diseases. The drugs can cause heart problems, severely low blood pressure, and muscle or nerve damage. Pla Plaquenil's label warns of possible damage to the retina, especially when used at higher doses. But beyond this, um, this is not the same thing as, you know, fish tank cleaner. As fish tank cleaner. That is not the same thing. Okay, that is like Trump saying that, you know, there have been some studies that show the beneficial medicinal effects of a glass of wine at dinner. So you're like, oh, well, that means alcohol is good for me. So you go in your bathroom, you take two bottles of isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and you proceed to down them. And right? if you do that, that one's on you. That one's not on Trump because you're stupid. Okay, but the media tried to blame Trump for this. It's unbelievable. I mean, truly, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. The amount that the media are trying to, to turn this into a, a Trump bleep show, as opposed to we're all in the midst of a pandemic and nobody knows anything, which is really the story of this thing, and that we are all sort of muddling through, it's pretty incredible. I don't know how you blame Trump for that one.